When a news story falls through the cracks, Lewis Black catches it for a segment we call Back in Black. <laughs> a couple of more weeks until Christmas when Christians celebrate the birth of Santa. <laughs> Meanwhile, us Jews are celebrating a real miracle, some lamp oil that lasted longer than we thought. Because if there's one thing we Jews love, it's a bargain. <laughs> but for some reason, Christians are now trying to include us in their holiday season, and it's not making any sense. Hallmark Christmas movies have been a staple for the channel for years. Now they're debuting two Hallmark Hanukkah movies. As the Washington Post reports, there's just one problem. Neither movie is a Hanukkah movie. They're Christmas movies with Jewish characters. Joel. Brooke. In Holiday Date, a woman hires a Jewish actor to pose as her boyfriend and join her at her family's house for Christmas. But the family grows suspicious about whether he knows how to celebrate. <laughs> oh, you're not sure if Jews know how to celebrate Christmas? You mean that holiday that gets jammed down our throat every year? <laughs> the second Halloween ends, I can't even buy a cup of coffee that doesn't look like it fell out of Santa's ass. <laughs> Trust me, Jews know how Christmas works. It's not like we're gonna walk into your Christmas party and say, oh my God, it's a tree. <laughs> Indoors. Call a lumberjack! <laughs> I don't want a holiday movie where a Jewish person learns about Christmas. I want a movie where a Christian has to learn about Hanukkah. <laughs> a night one, we get socks. A night two, a notebook. A night three, a pen and pencil set. It's a back to school holiday. <laughs> but if you thought a fake Hanukkah movie was tone deaf, put this in your stocking and stuff it. Online retail giant Amazon just pulled several controversial Christmas items from its website. The items, including Christmas ornaments, bottle openers, and mouse pads, depict the Auschwitz concentration camp. Amazon says all of the products in question have been removed, adding that all sellers must follow our selling guidelines. An Auschwitz Christmas ornament? Look, I know we say to never forget. But when you're decorating a tree, you can take the night off. <laughs> this is crazy. Christmas has nothing to do with the Holocaust. Santa's list and Schindler's list are very different lists. <laughs> but, but if you have to think of the Jews at Christmas, why not get them a little something to show you care, like this guy? Well, last week, we told you about a controversial auction of Nazi memorabilia in Germany. And new this morning, a Swiss businessman purchased many of the items, including Adolf Hitler's top hat. He said in order to keep them out of the hands of neo-Nazis. Abdullah Chatila said he will donate the items to a Jewish group. He said he paid more than $600,000 at the Munich auction last week. I appreciate the gesture, but who cares if a neo-Nazi gets their hands on Hitler's top hat? It's not like the hat will magically turn them into a super Nazi. All you get is a skinhead who looks like Mr. Peanut. <laughs> and giving Hitler's hat to a Jewish group isn't gonna do anything. They're just gonna take turns shitting in it. <laughs> Although, come to think of it, that sounds like a pretty good Hanukkah to me. <laughs> we thought Hitler's hat could only hold one turd, but it held eight. What a mitzvah. <laughs> And by the way, are we sure this is real? We've all seen pictures of Hitler, and he's never wearing a top hat. Personally, I think this was just a scam to get people to buy fake Hitler stuff. And that's the kind of scam I want to get in on. So hey, neo-Nazis, perhaps I could interest you in Hitler's ninja. That's right. That wasn't a mustache on Adolf's lip. That was residue from a delicious kale smoothie. Act now, and I'll even throw in Mussolini's fidget spinner. <laughs> Trevor? Lewis Black, everyone.